Florida, and welcome to the InstaSim channel. Today we are playing Minecraft, and I'm with this amazing person, Stealth and Wealth. <laughs> hey. Greetings. And <laughs> what we are going to be doing in this series is we are going to build a factory. Hey. And what the factory is going to be is we're basically going to be com uh, building a computer factory. So we're going to be building computers. So we're going to need to do things like digging and mining and stuff. But I think we, by the end of the series, we're definitely going to get like everything pretty much automated, and it's going to look awesome. <laughs> I think you know what you're doing, because I haven't got a single clue. Oh. Now, <clears throat> both of us kind of get quite a bit of lag, by the way. So apologies for the lag. I haven't got a single clue. We both get a bit of lag, but that's not a problem. But we do have a pretty decent seed here. I mean, we. I've done a bit of a test on this seed already, so I decided, you know what, let's use this one. So, we need to like start building things, so we basically need to go look for some trees, and for some wood and stuff, and there's a tree over there, actually. So, so. one. <laughs> but before we actually start digging or anything, I just want to walk you through some things. So, if you press the E on your keyboard, you will get a menu pop-up. Press E on oh, your yeah. keyboard. But make sure that you are not in cheat mode and that you're in recipe mode as well, by the way. I so just go to options. Sure. You should yeah, be. Yeah, it's in recipe mode. Yep. So, <clears throat> basically, when you click on one of these, it'll tell you how to make them. And it's going to be very helpful for us, basically, in the series. And um, oh. basically, we'll know how to make different things. So we are going to probably be in need of making quarries, and in order to make a quarry, I think you need quite a few things. Yeah, uh, you need like oh. diamonds and gold and oh. stuff. It's kind of complicated, but we are going to start. We are going to sort of go through things, as it were. So let's just put it down the tree. <laughs> we'll get down, sure. It'll take some time. Yeah. So. Let's just sort of start building our base of operations first, and, and to do that we just need wood. Would you like it around here? Yeah. <laughs> I think we'll make a lovely house here and just be able to live and, you know. I think we'll have a ni really nice house over here. Uh, we're, I'm also planning like to have a third person sort of join us in this series if we can, and if that is... I think we might need more than two people, we might need another person. And if we do, then that'd be great. So, where should we build our house? Over there. Huh? The village over there, you see it? Oh yeah, there is as well. Ooh. That's in, let's go to the village. <laughs> Maybe we should like start make our bit base of operations in the village and then sort of build around it or something, or build quite far away from it so that if something does happen because uh, a lot of the tech things do tend to like to blow up, so <laughs> oh yeah, don't we? We don't. kind of need to be far away from that and make sure that nothing really goes wrong. So we could probably start. Oh wait, what the heck? Oh, it's a good door, isn't it? Yeah, it's a brilliant <laughs> door. <laughs> um, I don't think we're in a great village. I think we've sort of uh, not reached a great village. Uh, food supply. Well, hey, we have food. Please. Carrots, wheat, good stuff. Yeah. But anyway, we need to we need to get to this factory. So, where should we build our factory? Should we like demolish this village and just build a factory on top of it, or should we like <gasps> allow for the people to live in their lovely village and just build far away from it? <laughs> Big meanie. I think we should leave them alone. Yeah, let's leave them alone. Anyway, where should we build our factory? Well, I think we should build it like best. behind the village over here so that the villagers have like a place to work then, don't they? So they can sort of have, yeah. have a place to work. So I think we should build it over here. Where are you? Where have you gone? Helping myself, helping myself to their food. Yeah, <laughs> helping yourself to their food. Uh, it's here, why not? Yeah, why not? Anyway, I think I found a pretty good place to build a factory. I'm just going to cut down this tree, so that we can sort of... <clears throat> oh, this one's a very big tree at all. 
I just put down all these leaves, because I don't need these. Oh, you have a sapling. Should we do something so that for every tree that we cut down, we have to replant the saplings or something? Because we need to be green. We need to be a green company. You know, we can't be greedy. We can't be just sort of destroying the landscapes or anything. We can't be using coal too much without having trees sucking in the carbon dioxide that is taken away from, you know, using coal and stuff. We need to be a green well. company. <laughs> we need, uh... We need the carbon dioxide to go somewhere, and we need oxygen to live, so I think replanting some trees is going to be a pretty good idea. So... Well, we can't really replant any trees yet, because we don't have uh, any space. So we should, we should be okay for now. So I'll just sort of put that there. Great. Where are you, by the way? Can I teleport you to me so that you can see where I'm thinking of building a factory? Ah, just making the last a bit of the food. Okay. Making the food. <laughs> uh, are we going to make this a tall factory? Because we need to make it quite big if we're going to have a lot of machinery there. So, we probably will need to have a pretty big factory. Yeah, yeah. may as well. And what are we going to build the factory out of? What are we going to build our factory out of? Well, we could go for a snazzy marble. I don't know. Yeah. It's up to you. Marble's pretty nice in this texture pack. In Sfax, marble's pretty nice. Oh, look, I found a marble already. Hey. I'm, I'm, but the thing is, marble is like in excess in Tekkit. So, basically, you can pretty much dig anywhere and just find marble anywhere. So, I think marble is probably a good idea because there's so much of it. Oh, I'm just stuck in a... somewhere else. Okay, well the good news is I found a chest and I've got some ores. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> well, you got ore? Oh, yeah, I've got... Oh yeah, my the, god, um... I've had a chasm. So, oh, chasm. What's it called? The, uh... The... Oh, the no, not the dungeon. The, the furnace place in the village. Yeah. The smelter. That, oh, the smelter. Place. It has a chest. Oh, cool. Yeah, but um, I found uh, sort of a ditch. And there's marble here as well. There's also coal. <clears throat> and we're going to need okay. a lot of coal as well. So I think what we should no do... Idea where you are. I'll teleport you to. Oh, lovely. There we go. So, I think we found quite a few things. I'm behind you, by the way, just so you know. No. Oh, there you go. Took a bit of time. Yep. There you go. So I found this place here, with it, which has quite a bit of marble. And it has coal in it as well. Oh, no. So I think we should dig some of this stuff out. You can dig coal with a wooden pickaxe, so I'll make you a pickaxe. Unless you know how to make one. But we need, well, we need to have a crafting that. table to make a pickaxe, because there's not enough space in your inventory to make one. I know so. the basics of Minecraft, just not the techie part of Minecraft. <laughs> yeah, okay, fair enough. So if you want to make your own, yourself a pickaxe, then that would be great. Yeah, cut down that tree, we're going to need the space, so... Cut down the entire tree, because I don't like trees that are just sort of floating in the end. Oh, I am trust me, the delay is mad. <laughs> I'll just make myself a pickaxe, so that we can sort of, uh, dig up some of this marble. <laughs> so we're gonna need to find a way up as well, because I don't think there's a way up from here. There is more marble down here somewhere, by the way. Also, for the first few... For the first time, for, t for this first few times, I'll just set the time to day again so that we don't have to go through night time and have to destroy zombies and stuff like that. I think my difficulty is peaceful actually, so it should be okay actually. I'll let us go through the night time, but the difficulty is peaceful for now so that we don't actually get any mobs spawning or anything. Mm -hmm. So we should be able to go down here. Right, let's go and find us. Ouch, I just watch out, the drop's pretty big. Go. So, yeah, I think we should be okay. So let's destroy some of this marble. But you can't... Oh, I think coal on. is the only ore that you can actually uh, get with a wooden pickaxe. 
In order to get iron, you need a stone pickaxe, and pretty much every other ore after that is you have to get an iron pickaxe. But we aren't going to find iron too easily, but it's a lot easier than finding diamonds and nickel light and stuff like that. Oh! Light, yeah. light, uh... oh, oh. oh gosh, there's a bat! Oh. I just found a bat. Ah, oh, now the bat's just dead. Oh no, it's there. Oh, there it is. Hello. Oh my gosh, this is a cave. We oh, found a cave. What the hell happened there? We're in a cave that's basically full of marble. So we're basically in excess already. We can just basically dig out all this marble. We can use this as our own cave, in fact. I have five coal, by the way, but watch out because if you dig that coal there, underneath that is uh -huh. a marble, and if you dig out the marble, you're gonna basically drop to where I am. Should be alright. Ah, uh, you almost got me on there. Ah. Uh, something's happened to your microphone, by the way, because you're yeah, sort of echoing. Echoing now. You're derping. Oh, there you go. Oh, <laughs> it sort of fixes itself as well a bit. Right, I'm gonna kind of let you. Oh. I'm gonna kind of let you sort of get this coal and stuff, and I'm just gonna go deeper into the cave so that we can uh, get some more marble and stuff, so we can start building. Ooh, I'm also gonna get some stone, stone so that we can actually get us, get better pickaxes as well. Yeah, that would be nice, please. That would be very nice. But first of all, let's light this joint up. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> light the joint. <laughs> cannot I cannot be working in these ridiculous. Uh, Are you gonna get a bit high as well from that? Oh, you never know. <laughs> You're just gonna get like roasted or something. I'm just gonna start getting roasted. You're know, baked, even not roasted. Baked. You're gonna get baked. <laughs> I think that's what this video should. This first episode should be called then. Getting baked because we're just gonna get baked by the uh, torch. The torches. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna make myself a few um, torches as well, actually, because I want to get some of that baking action. Oh wait, I can make more. There we go. I got eight torches because I cannot work in the dark. Then again, there's no mobs gonna be spawning for a while anyway, so we should be okay. Mhm. Mm But the light will help, because if there's light somewhere, then it's not going to spawn any mobs, even when we enable mob spawning. It's only in the dark when uh, mobs are spawning. So if when we do get to building our factory, we're going to have to like put lights up. But there are redstone light lamps that you can put in. If you go to your inventory and just type in lamp, I think it is. Yeah, lamp. Then there's quite a few like redstone lamps that you can oh, get. Yeah, yeah. You can also get inverted redstone lamps, so basically those don't need redstone to work. But uh, the lamps are pretty cool actually because you can get them in different colours. But the only thing is, the light will always output in white because of Minecraft, basically. Yeah, Minecraft only right. outputs light yeah. in white, but it does look pretty nice to have the different colour lights in Minecraft as well. Mm -hmm. You got any stone, by the way? My pick just broke. Yes, I do. I have 15. How much do you need? I think you need three for your pickup. Three yeah. for a pick. Well, just I'm just gonna go back to our crafting bench so that we can go and make some stone pickaxes. I just sort of build, uh, destroy some of this so we can get a bit of a staircase going. In. Where are you, by the way? Oh, you're there. Okay. Where on earth are we? <laughs> Where is our? It's on the other side. Right here, on the other side. There we go. We need like a ladder or something to get up from that chasm, by the way, there. So, I'm going to make us some ladders as well. But I'm going to make a stone cat so that we can dig a little bit faster. And ladders. I think it's just uh, sticks like this that does. I've run out of sticks, lol. Do you want some sticks? Can you just give me like one stick? I only need one. You need one <laughs> stick, I'll give you four. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I can't pick those up, I think they're all this the wrong place now. There we go. 
Yeah, delay's a bit mad. My apologies. Right, we've got three ladders, so I think we should be able to get them here. Then. Oh. If I just sort of. Gotta kill yourself one day. Gotta kill yourself one day, man. <laughs> Why is your thing like just sort of? Oh, that worked. <laughs> It's a start, put it that way. <laughs> right, I think what we can do is we can sort of destroy these two blocks here. Mm -hmm. And just got, sort of get a staircase going. You brought your dirt. <laughs> so we can have our entrance here as well, actually. Yeah, that's a pretty good place. Yeah. So, let's go digging. <laughs> 